Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can transform a classic SharePoint Online site into a modern one by using PowerShell. So here I am in my, in my demo SharePoint Online tenant and as you can see here I have just a classic site I have created just a few minutes ago. It's still possible to use the classic site template with no modern features in the home page. So um, my idea is just to show you how you can convert this site into a modern one so it looks like a modern communication site. First of all, you must know that in order to make that transformation, you need to write some PowerShell. Indeed, you only require a simple PowerShell commandlet that is enabled SPO com site. And uh, before doing that, you must uh, know some of the requirements you have in order to convert a classic team site. That's very important because you could really can only convert classic team site into modern one. First thing is that this that classic team site cannot be a, a team site connected to a Microsoft 365 group. And then um, also bear in mind that you can only convert top type, a top level site in so uh, so sites are not supported. And last but not least, uh, yeah. If you have enabled uh, SharePoint Server publishing, publishing Infrastructure, that's not supported in the transformation process. So that means that uh, publishing sites are not supported at this uh, moment when uh, doing that transformation. So indeed, only STS0 sites are supported. So once that uh, we know the rules, uh, to convert an existing site into a modern one, you only need to execute enable SPO con site comma let. Obviously, you need to have a last version of the SharePoint Online Management Cell or at least the 21.2.12.00 version installed in, on your uh, PC. And then you are ready to go. You can also do the same transformation by using PMP PowerShell command helps as uh, advised here. But in this demonstration, I'm going to use the enable SharePoint Online, sorry, enable SPO com site commandlet. So just remember, this is the site as it looks like now, and I'm going to convert the site into a model into the model experience. So first of all, I need to grab the URL of the site. And then I'm going to my SharePoint Online Management Cell window. Obviously, first of all, you need to connect to SharePoint Online service by using the SharePoint Online Admin Center URL. I'm already connected, so I don't I can skip uh, that step. And then um, I'm just going to update uh, SharePoint Online, sorry, uh, PowerShell string object where I'm going to type uh, the URL on my site, here we are. And then I uh, only need to just uh, type enable SPO con site command led with the site URL parameter. And then indicate the URL of the site I want to transform. So once I'm done, I only had to hit the enter key. I get a confirmation message. Of course, I want to make the transformation. So I had to type yes, and then hit again on the enter key. And as you can see, the process is very fast. And uh, in theory, the site is modernized. So let's check that. So I'm going to click on the home link here in the vertical menu. And as you can see here, yes, I have the brand new modern site that was created from, sorry, that was transformed from the previous classic experience. So. This looks like a communication site, but indeed it's not a communication site. It's a still a thin site created with the STS zero template, but with a modern appearance. Indeed, I can go to the site contents page here and I can navigate to uh, the site pages document library. And you will see that the former classic SharePoint Online site pages, sorry, the former classic uh, pages on the site are still there. So. I have the start page, sorry for the Spanish, so I can click here. Uh, yeah, this is the old classic experience. And of course, as you can see here, because of the modernization and also having the Microsoft search box, 
in on the navi top navigation bar something that I didn't have before because um, this feature is not uh, fully rolled out to classic site yet. So I have my uh, search box here, uh, yes, in the classic position in the classic site. And that's all. So a very straightforward process to convert or to, to, to transform a classic theme site into a communication site. Just remember to uh, read carefully the rules of the game uh, so you are aware of what you can transform and what you cannot transform. I hope you have found this video useful. Um, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye bye.